Hello YouTube, my name is Light for iWire.com and this will be a quick demonstration on how to remove multiple Windows updates. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because uh, I was not able to find any video like this online which uh, would help me, nor, did, nor was I able to find any application that would work with my uh, domain controller um, in the place where I work. Uh, so. Uh, Okay, I'll be opening this file and uh, first things first, uh, we'll be needing a couple of utilities and these are cut, set and grab and these util utilities are available uh, uh, in the following web address. Okay, now I'll be, since I'll be making a batch file, I'll be, uh, for example, I will be, uh, this will be one of the things to be displayed. Okay, I'll be saving this and I will be renaming this to let's say uninstaller.batch which is a batch file of course and I'll be editing it again. Okay, the thing is done. I'll be starting CMD to show you how to uh, uh, get the list of updates and to get the list of updates you will be uh, QF I believe get will be ah blah get will be needing a utility called WMIC which you get from uh, well from Microsoft. Now uh, I did not need to uninstall every single update. I only needed to uninstall security updates. Now bear in mind that you can uninstall everything. It's all up to you. You will probably need uh, to fiddle a bit more with this source code. But um, I did not. Okay, so we'll be needing to grab um, security update. Bear in mind, this is a case sensitive procedure. So the next thing, since I only actually need uh, this uh, this number KB, I will be setting it and. I will be substituting spaces with said and uh, you can uh, actually read uh, read online what said actually does and how it does it s means substitute this is actually a tab and this is another tab now bear <coughs> bear in mind it took me some time to uh, figure out how to uh, how to format it properly so again this is just an idea on how to do something okay now I only thing I actually need is uh, this number in here so I'll be cutting it minus D which is delimiter and this is spacing and minus F which is field and it will be uh, I think fifth field okay so let's see what do we get now Okay, so we got the list of updates, and this is the only thing I actually need. But <coughs> unfortunately, I do not need uh, these two uh, first first two uh, letters, numbers, whatever. Uh, so I'll be cutting it some more, and this actually will be cutting first two and starting with the third one so as you can see now only thing I have is a list of uh, <coughs> list of uh, well updates but only by numbers and we'll be outputting it to uh, let's say remove.txt now uh, this thing will make a text file and I will show you it already made it and if you open it you'll get this list okay so well I will be deleting it because I do not need it at the moment and I will be copy pasting this uh, ah, this source code well source code this uh, text into my uh, uh, script okay so first of all um, this will be also hidden and I will be for example mm, I'll be typing here let's say something like getting 
getting the list of updates and this will be um, making the list of updates okay so the next thing we need to uh, do is to uh, uh, make a loop that will make a script that will actually run an installer so for example a uh, for slash f means that it will be a uh, it will be calling it itself percentage i n <coughs> and uh, type will be this text file will be getting our data from this text file so it's remove.txt dot txt and we'll be doing do echo wusa which is an installer slash quiet slash uninstall slash kb and this will be our percentage i which will be making our kb and slash no restart and we'll be outputting it to new.cmd now uh, these two are actually means that they're appending to a file so every time it goes through a loop it will be a appending a new line so let's see if this thing works I think it actually did work um, just to see where did it uh, put it um, okay so here it is new.cmd and if we edit it we'll be having the list of our updates and it will be ready to run so I'll be copying copying this thing as well and that is basically it now uh, there is one little thing which I found out which was driving me crazy because I could not get 4 to work in a batch file <coughs> sorry um, and that and that uh, that you have to use double percentage signs when you're in a loop or when you're in a batch file I don't know why but uh, you just have to so we'll be typing something like echo I know preparing preparing the blah something preparing the uh, script whatever and we'll be pausing let's say pause and uh, uh, this uh, uh, when you're uh, uh, this uh, null thing is uh, it does not show you anything for example if you just type pause it will show you if you just type pause sorry pause it will show you press any key to continue but if you type pause and now <coughs> it won't show you anything but it will run the command so you can echo something like uh, press any key to start start fart start the uninstall process whatever process and you can call new dot cmd now I'll be deleting this new dot cmd and I will be deleting this remove.txt and I will be saving this uninstaller and uh, I'll be running it, let's see what happens so this is it, getting the list of updates ok so it did made the script which is here and if we edit it there will be a list of everything to uninstall security related <coughs> that it is on this computer so uh, if I press any key, it will start uh, the. Uh, it will start uninstalling, and I would not want that. And you can actually, for example, do something like I don't know, echo cleaning up, and you can delete del slash f. I think f is force. I'm not sure though. Uh, just a second. Remove the txt, and. <coughs> Well, that's about it. Uh, I do hope you liked this video. If you did, you can always subscribe, like the video, share it, whatever. If you didn't, you can dislike. And that's about it. Thank you for watching.